Hi there, welcome again to my channel. Today, our topic is about how to use do, does, and did. This is a very important topic for high school students from grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10, as well as grade 11 and grade 12. But for that, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Now let us proceed with this lesson. Do means to carry out some action. How are we going to use do? First, we use do as a main verb. For example, I do it every day. Now, do here is a main verb in this sentence. You do your job properly. Okay, there is no other verb here except do. Another one, they do their part nicely. Okay, do is our main verb here. There is no other verb here except do. Now, number two is, do is also used as helping verb. Okay, for example, I do help my parents every day. Okay, now do here is our helping verb and help is our main verb. This Two words are always paired. Magka partner palagi ito. Okay. I do help my parents every day. Now, take note here. You cannot use ed in this sentence. This is wrong. Because uh, we are in the present tense. We cannot use ed. That is uh, wrong. Okay. Also, you cannot use is at the end of the main verb because you we use do, there's, there's no need for other letters after help. Okay, that, that is wrong. Another one, this one, helping, this is also wrong because uh, once we use the helping verb do, the main verb should have no other letters at the end. It should only be help. Okay. Number three. Do is used also before. Uh, do is used before not to express negative thought or idea. Okay. Example. I don't know you. Now here, don't is equivalent to do not. This is the contracted. Don't is the contracted form of two words. Do not. So don't and do not is just the same. Example: You don't follow instructions. Okay. We don't want to go there. And they don't understand me. Okay. Number four: Do is used also in expressing command. Say, for example: Do your homework. Do me a favor. Do nothing. Next, do is also used at the beginning of a question. So, for example, do you know him? Okay. Do is also used in questions after the word who, what, when, why, and how. Example, what do you know about him? Okay. Now, do here is our helping verb, and this is paired with the verb no. No is our main verb. Now, take note, at the middle is our subject. Palaging nasa gitna ito, ang subject. It is between the helping verb and the main verb. Okay, that is in questions. Now, how about does? Does means to carry out some action. Oh, pariho lang meaning nila. But this one has different use. Okay, does is always paired with the main verb in the sentence. Now, how do we use does? First, it is used as a regular verb. Just like do. This one is used as a regular verb. And the other one is it is also used as helping verb or auxiliary verb. Remember that helping verb 
is also called auxiliary verbs. So these two are just the same. Now, how to use does as a regular verb? Use does only when the subject is in the third person singular and the main verb is in the present tense. Now remember, we have three kinds of persons in English grammar. First person, second person, and third person. And that is also with singular and plural. Now in this case, we can use thus only in the third person singular and also only in the present tense. Example, he does his homework every night. Okay, now he is our subject in the third person singular. And then, does is our present tense. This is in regular, a regular verb because there is no other verb in the sentence. So does her is acting as a regular verb in the present tense. Now, the key word to determine whether this is present tense is the word every. Okay. Now, does is also used as helping verb or auxiliary verb to add emphasis. Example, my friend does agree with you. Okay. Now here, does is our helping verb. It is accompanied with the main verb, agree. Okay. When you use does, there should be no S at the end of the main verb. But when you remove does, okay. Now here, friend is our third person, I mean subject in the third person singular. Now, when we remove does in the sentence, then there should be S. Dapat meron ng S at the end of the main verb. Now, if you add does, then S should be removed. Just like this one. We have does here. There is no S here. But if you remove the does, then S should be written at the end of the main verb. Okay. Now, does is also used at the beginning of a question. So, for example, does he know him? Okay. Does is our helping verb. This is partnered with the main verb, no. And our subject is third person singular, he. Okay, now, in this sentence, if we remove thus, like this one, he knows him, we are going to add S at the end of the main verb. But if we include thus, then the S should be removed from the verb, just like this. Okay, remember that. Now, thus is used also in questions after who, when, where, why, and how. Say, for example, who does he think he is? Okay. That is our helping verb. Think is our main verb. And our subject in the third person singular is he. Okay. Now, let us proceed to the use of did. When do we use did? Did is the past tense of do. It is used when the action in the sentence happened in the past. Okay. Here are the uses of did. First, it is used as regular verb. And then, it is also used as helping or auxiliary verb. Now, here are the uses of did as a regular verb. Did can be used when the subject is in the first person, second person, or third person, whether singular or plural. So, there is no confusion here in did. Whether you are in the first person, second person, third person, singular or plural, you can use did. Okay, like this one. I did it. Now, did here is acting as a regular verb because there is no other verb in this sentence. Next, you did the job well. 
Okay. Next, they did their task seriously. Now, first we have here first person, second person, and third person. Okay. You is of did as helping or auxiliary verb. Number one, it is used to express strong emphasis. Okay, example. I realized my mistake. Now, this one here, we have no helping verb. I just like to emphasize here. What is the difference between a sentence without does, uh, without uh, did, and a sentence with did? Okay. Now, I did realize my mistake. Notice here, in our, our original sentence, our verb is in the past tense. We have the here. But in our emphatic form, this kind of sentence is called emphatic emphatic sentence because we use the helping verb did now notice here d is no longer included here in our second sentence because we use because we use did okay now did is our helping verb realize is our main verb okay another example he knew he is mistaken now knew is our Verb in the past tense. Okay. If we transform this into an emphatic form using did, it will become like this. He did know he is mistaken. Now notice here. In the first sentence, our verb is in the past tense. But since we use, we use the past form of do, which is did, then this verb will become present tense. It will become like this. Okay, he did. Okay, did is our helping verb. No is our main verb. Now it is now in the present tense. We cannot use did here because it will become double past tense, and that is not allowed in English grammar. Once we use did as a helping verb, we cannot use the main verb as past tense because that is a violation. It will become a double past tense, and that is not allowed. In English grammar. Okay. Did is used in asking questions. Example. Did he come to see me? Okay. This is our helping verb here. And then come is our main verb that is in the present tense. And our subject in the third person singular is he. Okay. Now if we use this one, did he came to see me? This one is past tense, did, and this one is another past tense. That is wrong. Here, the verb here should be in the present tense, like this one, come. Okay. Number three, did is used also before the word not to express negative thought or idea. Say, for example, he did not see me yesterday. Okay, now. Did here is our helping verb. See is our main verb in the present tense. Now notice here, we have here past tense did and present tense verb see. Okay. Now if you use this one, he did not show me yesterday, it is a violation because this is past tense and then we are going to use another past tense. That is not right. So this is wrong. Okay. Number three. Did is used also in phrases, not only, but also. Example, she did not only excel in academics, but also in sports. Now here, did is our helping verb. Excel is our main verb. Okay. And number four, did is used also in certain questions. Example, what did you see in the office? Okay. Now here, did is our helping verb. And C is our main, main verb in the present tense. Notice, the subject here is always between the helping verb and the main verb. Okay. Now, if you are going to write a sentence like this one, what did you show in the office? This is violation also. Because did this past tense, so is another past tense. That is not allowed. So this is wrong. Another one, when did you arrive? OK, 
Okay. If you are going to use this one, when did you arrive? Double past tense, that is wrong. Next one, what did you eat? If you are going to use double past tense like this one, this is also wrong. Okay, now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something in this video. See you again on my next upload.